good morning good afternoon good evening good night from where or when you're watching this video this is john from it skills academy and i take this opportunity to welcome and welcome you back to my channel we continue creating the pharmacy management system and in our previous episode we created this checkout page now in this episode we want to create the receipt so that when a person inserts this data into the database a receipt is thereafter printed on uh, displayed on the screen so to be able to do that we need to first of all uh, do the html work of the receipt and then we are going to do the php work of the receipt so without so much ado and because we don't have a lot of time here let's get started So uh, what I'll do is I'll just latch to uh, my Visual Studio and uh, what I have already created is the receipt.php page. Uh, currently it is very empty because we'll be creating this um, receipt uh, from a scratch. So I get started with creating the HTML prototype. So um, in Visual Studio you can simply just type the question mark or rather the exclamation mark and then you hit the tab and then there you're going to have your uh, HTML uh, prototype. So now uh, for this one I can just come and call it uh, receipt. So I can just come and call it receipt and now I'll just head on to the body and within the body the first thing that I want to do is to create a div and um, uh, this div will hold the container so i'll give it a class and uh, the class will be one uh, container and i also wanted to have a margin top of five and a margin bottom of a three all right now within the container within the container i'll have yet another div and uh, this div uh, will have the class of low so i'll just come and say class is equals to low and uh, other than low i'll also uh, give it a fret so i want it to fret and i'll also justify the content center so i'll just come and say uh, justify uh, content uh, center this is because i want um, everything within this container to be centered so you can just say justify content center so now within this div i'm going to create a column so i'm just going to come and say uh, dot call uh, md8 so now within that uh, column I'm going to uh, have a card, so I'll just come and say dot card, because the card should be within a div that should have a class of uh, uh, card, and then now uh, because I want to only print this uh, card when I be printing the receipt, I'll just come and say a print uh, container. So we'll be coming back to this uh, when we. Uh, we'll start printing the receipt so for now just hold that dot for a while or for a moment rather so uh, now uh, the next thing that I want to do is uh, to just have uh, an icon on top here so I just want to like have the, uh, the uh, logo the, the logo for maybe the specific uh, pharmacy uh, that is using the system so uh, for that I will have yet another div and uh, this div again I will give it a class and uh, the class that I will give to it is uh, a dfx because I want to be able to play aloud with the contents of this uh, uh, div as I want in this case being the logo so uh, I'll also come and say flex low because I want it to be in a low and I'll also give it a padding of two. Nice. 
so inside here I'm going to have a, an image and uh, my image is in a folder called assets uh, images and uh, the, the name is logo icon dot png uh, I'll also play aloud with the width of these uh, the width of these uh, specific um, icon so for the width I'll give it what for me alright so that being as such uh, we also want to have a name we also want to have a name like next to the logo so i'll have yet another div and i'll give it a class and uh, the class that it will have is uh, sorry uh, it should uh, be again uh, dfrex Uh, Dfrex, uh, Frex, uh, Coram, I want it to be in a Coram layout, so Coram, Coram, and um, uh, what else, so right, so inside that div, we can have a span, so that is a span, and uh, this way we are going to have the name uh, receipt, and uh, I want to give this span a class and the class that I will give to it is uh, font weight because I want to determine the weight of uh, the uh, text or the name uh, receipt so just come and give it a class of uh, uh, font weight bold so that this name uh, will be bold all right so now after that we just get outside of that specific uh, div so this is specific div we get outside of it and now down here we just want to have a name like or a sentence like this is the start of the legal receipt so uh, for that first of all we're going to create a div let me space this a little bit so that maybe we can be moving on well together and i want to align uh, item center here this should be lapped within double quotes now within this div what we want to do is um, uh, to write a sentence that will be italic and we're just going to say this is the start of this legal uh, all right so that being as it is now down here we want to have a line or i want to have a line so just say hi and that will have me with a line that you now separate that top part with uh, now maybe the body and so now what we want to do here is to create a sort of a table in fact we are creating a table so we'll say um, we'll have a div with a class of table responsive uh, table responsive and uh, it should also have a padding of two so p hyphen two responsive right uh, now within that we're going to have another div so I'll just come and say dot array um, items hyphen center and now within that div um, we're going to have <coughs> uh, like the name of the pharmacy so we're just going to come and say pharmacy and uh, this one should be bold so let me just bold that right uh, this one should be uh, bold so i just can uh, remove it i say b and then i paste it inside there and uh, i want several stuff 
this is like the header of the receipt the header of the receipt so here we can just come and say p o r box uh, 108 uh, 10 like that and uh, here we can have the name and here we can have a mobile number 0700000 all right this should be two okay and uh, that's it so let's just try to refresh and see what we have created so far all right so so far so good uh, this is what we have created so far and uh, this is because we have not linked the bootstrap so because uh, here we are using bootstrap as you can see with the classes that we are giving here so uh, what I'll just do um, within the header um, I just want to come and um, uh, include or require All right, so this is what we have uh, so far. So it looks a little bit uh, disorganized because we have not included the bootstrap uh, CSS. And so before we do anything else, let's just include that and see if our work will take some shape. So just head on back to Visual Studio Code and in the header on top here, I'll we'll just come and uh, have the link. And uh, this should be um, the specific file that we are linking to or that we want to link to is the style.min.css it is within our project folder pharmacy management system uh, dashboard dist uh, css style.min.css so to include that we're just going to come to the hlf and we're just going to say dist uh, css forward slash uh, style uh, dot uh, min dot uh, css so and just by doing that, if we refresh the page, that's what we have. So it has now started to take some shape. All right. So now after that, uh, we also want to have the receipt having its own uh, background color so that it is different from the other background. So to be able to do that, I'm just going to go below the head here and i'm just going to uh, have some css here so just come and say style so uh, style and within that i'm just going to come and have the body and uh, here you have the uh, background and the color being um, F5, F5, F5. Yes, so just like that. So that should have the uh, body of uh, the container or everything to be. So that should have the background color being uh, some sort of whitish. So I'm just going to get back to this and refresh it. Yeah, and that's what we have and now that uh, is now taking some shape now the next thing that we want to do is we want to have these not being an in a low but we want them to be in a column sort of so um So what I'll just do is I'll just come and have a break. Just come and create a break there. And uh, I'm just going to duplicate it. Yeah, so something of that sort. 
and looks like this Arrain item center is not working for me so let me just try to use Arrain uh, Arrain is equals to center see if that works for me so I'm refreshing the page right and we have them uh, like that but still you want them to be at the center all right let's see uh, what could be the problem we cut that uh, we uh, have the class back and we also include that as well so let's refresh uh, the browser and see what we got and as you can see we now have that at the center which is uh, what we wanted so that now means that we can proceed on to the next thing so um, we're just going to uh, get out of that div so it is a table responsive div Alright, and uh, alright, so in fact, we don't need these uh, cars here for now. So let's just get rid of that. It's not helping us in any way. So we now get out of that uh, div. So now down here, we're going to have yet another line. So I say HL. And uh, now below that, we will create another div with a class of uh, products. So I'm just going to come and say dot uh, product and uh, should also have a padding of 2 so p hyphen 2 and now within that div uh, we now want to start with the medicine prescribed so what I'll do is just have it in h5 so I'll say h5 and inside that I can just say medicine uh, prescribed and now the medicine prescribed and everything will be within a table so I'm just going to come and create a table here and uh, this table will have the following classes just to style it a little bit uh, so it should have a class of table and should not have uh, borders so we're just going to say uh, table uh, borderless uh, yes that was right uh, borderless like that so let's now start creating the table so uh, as usual we'll have the t-body oh uh, T body. All right. T body. Right. And now inside the T body, we're going to have a T I that is table rows. And uh, now in the table row, we'll have several TDs. In fact, we need uh, five of them. So I'll say TD multiplied by five tab. That should give us that. And the first one will have the medicine a name. Uh, we should also have uh, the quantity. And uh, we also want to have the price. And here we will have the total. Alright, and we don't need the fifth one. And this one we want to have it centered. So we'll give it a class of um, a text center. Alright, so as simple as that. 
Now below that we're going to have so in fact this should be T head, not the T body. This one should be the T head. Uh, so T head. And uh, now this one should now be the T body. Body. and so here we will need one two three four so um, we'll have the TVs now here uh, multiplied by four So here maybe we can have a sample name, so P return. Uh, quantity maybe we can say 1, the price maybe is 80, and the total is 80. Or maybe we can say 2, this one 80, and this one 60. Alright, so let's refresh and see uh, what we have. Yeah, and that's what we have, uh, looking very clean, very good. So uh, moving on to the next thing, we want now to have the total. Uh, so like if we are, uh, these are like the subtotal because we are assuming that a person will get um, um, several drugs prescribed to him or her. So we're going to have all that there with the year total and now we want to have the grand total of everything so that's why now we want to um, go below here and uh, what we are going to do is um, we're going to have two TVs in fact we should have three And so now we go to the third one, and in the third one, this is where we are going to have the subtotal. So I'm calling it subtotal because this person maybe will not only get drugs prescribed to him, he'll also be charged for some services, which maybe we want to have it in a different table. So this will be the subtotal for the medicine. So maybe I can just say medicine. Uh, medicine subtotal so that maybe we don't get uh, confused and um, we are now going to have the subtotal be, uh, down here so td and uh, here we're going now to have the 160 Alright, now down here, we want to uh, sort of now have uh, the balance, so like we want to say um, how much this person paid and uh, how much was uh, 
uh, returned as uh, the barons so I'm um, just going to all right now before we move on to the next thing let's first of all refresh and see what we have so far yeah let's start from let's start from here all right so oh, before we forget this one should be within a law uh, I forgot to have a row here so that one should be a row so within this row this way we should have these columns and now when we refresh this is what we have so cool so the next thing that we want to put is uh, the price for the balance and the total paid so uh, for that we're going to get on to the um, text editor so now within the text editor we're going to have uh, we're going to have a law and uh, within this law we're going to create a trace three columns right uh, trace three so like that and I'm going to go to the third one and in the third one I'm going to now have the subtotal so I'll have it bold and say uh, sub or let me just say total yeah because now these are like the subtotals so we can say grad total something and um, we are also going to have yet another column here that will now hold the grad total in this case being 160. so let's refresh that and see yeah and that's what we have there so now um i want to also show uh, the amount paid by the client and the um and the balance uh that um the cashier or the accountant should uh, give back to the patient or the customer so to be able to do that let's get back to the text editor and uh, we create another row so tr and uh, here we are going to have uh, again three TVs and uh, here we can have um, amount paid maybe that should be bold So So mount paint and uh, what else? Uh, we can also come and say so the, the, the amount paid will be what the client has paid so maybe we can just come and say a spam and the amount maybe this client paid 200 yes and um, uh, the other thing is the balance so the barons, the barons. And maybe here the barons is um, 40. This one again should be bold. like that so let's refresh 
Alright, and we have that, so that looks cool. So now we can just um, have this, like this is the end of this legal receipt. So, um, below the table, maybe just below the table, let's just come and have uh, the eye. And so this is the end of this legal receipt. And uh, maybe we can have it within a beam. Just like that, and uh, we can just come and have the deal with um, a line center. So now we we'll refresh that. All right, that looks all right. That looks cool. And now we can uh, just come and have a hash all here. Let's draw a line here. So hash all. Yeah, and that's what we have there. So this is where we'll be having the what uh, the medicine prescribed and this will be the totals. Let's just try to board this so that they don't collide with these ones. So we can just maybe come on top here and change this from TDs to TH. Uh, so we can just come and move that and put a H. Same to these ones. Headings, so that one, and so we refresh that. Yeah, and now we have them being bold, uh, which looks good. So now this is our uh, receipt, and this is the one that will now uh, be uh, like uh, attached to our pharmacy management system, so that can be given to anyone who. Um, have uh, bought some uh, drugs or some medicine from us all right so let's see you in the next episode as we now try to link our receipt with our system see you in the next one and as usual stay safe